What is up my aesthetic boys? It's Fresh back with another video, another new subreddit for the channel. Also, if you haven't been around for the past couple days, my Discord is finally open. I hope you join and I hope you like the video. I have two employees that usually leave work at 6 p.m. They are good, but I don't like that their commitment lasts only for work hours only. What should I do as CEO? As CEO, you should probably not make decisions based on Quora answers. While I do wish that someone had been able to respond to the actual question this way, at least someone got to roast him on Reddit after. Nick, you don't know me, but I was in a tragic accident a few years ago, paralyzed from the neck down. It's been a tough few years, but today I stood up and walked to turn off your music. Hey, he's a lifesaver and a love maker. What, could, what can you argue with? Senator Rand Paul, can I get another 100 donors from Twitter tonight? We must defeat socialism. Contribute $35, $11, or just $2. Cash dot me, Rand Paul. Uh, if everyone contributes a small amount of their income, we can pool all of the resources together to defeat socialism. This guy didn't think that one through, huh? How did you do your text like that? Uh, first, you need to sacrifice a virgin. Um, it's against Reddit rules to encourage suicide. Oh, got him, coach. Roast me. Can't believe you ripped up your house just to write roast me on it. I think this roast is almost even better because he looks homeless despite the fact that he is obviously at his job. Imagine finding this funny. Yeah, imagine being presented with a username field and typing wrecked feminist. I'd like to see this poster's history to see if it was a sarcastic wrecked feminist or if he's actually trying to, to own some SJWs out here, but either way the joke's funny. What are some non-obvious early signs that a relationship is coming to an end? When you get the urge to ask people about symptoms of a failing relationship. No, no, no. He asked for non-obvious symptoms. Come on, guys. Also, 666. Okay. Well, potassium is a very nice element. Very reactive. Unlike that response you just gave. Well, the guy was getting curved pretty hard, but at least he put his best foot forward on this joke. You're allowed to spray a man with raid if he's under 5'11". Does this mean we can use elephant rifles on girls more than 200 pounds? My question is, when do we get to use elephant rifles on guys over a certain weight? And under what height do we get to spray girls with raid? I think this is a easily correctable double standard. Why does my son think he owns his computer? He bought it, but it's in my house, therefore it is mine. How can I help him understand this? I walked into a jewelry store. I picked an expensive necklace and put it in my purse. It is in my purse, therefore it is mine. The shop owner disagrees. We're in her store, therefore the purse and everything in it from my wallet to my keys are hers. She demands I give her everything on me because it's hers. She demands that I strip and give her my clothes too. I refuse, but she calls the cops. The cops come in. Now they are also hers. So am I. Slavery exists again. The jeweler takes all we have and works us to the bone. She locks us up in her store to protect what is hers and leaves for the night. On her way home, she goes to the grocery store to pick up dinner. She now belongs to the grocer. He never lets her leave. Some rich guy puts a dome over the city. We are in his dome, therefore the city is his. Chaos ensues across the country. Everyone is out for themselves, taking anything and anyone they can to put on their property. With the chaos, defenses are down. A foreign force invades. They win the war, but since they came to us first, do they belong to us or are we to them? Everyone is confused. The country is at a standstill while we try to figure it out. Eventually, we all agree. Your idea of ownership is irrational and absurd. The world reverts to its original, saner ideas of ownership. God damn it if this isn't the best answer to a question I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, come on, people. LOL, I hate the gem. Ah, you accidentally put an H in there. Oof. Oof, that one hit me right in the stomach. I wish for the ability to switch between normal sight and sight that makes me see all the people that want to have sex with me. Granted, now you have the ability to close your eyes. Wait, let me, let me, let me try it, okay? Yeah, yeah, that seems about right, huh? 24-year-old Italian ballet dancer. What do you got? What I got? A career that'll last past my 20s. This is the irony of being a dancer, right? While they may be the people with the best balance out of any profession, their career has the least stability. Never? Never. What if we were the last two people on Earth? I'd find a cucumber and do myself. Well, to be fair, a zucchini or perhaps a particularly firm unripe banana would also do the trick. Just read General Mattis' resignation letter. It makes it abundantly clear that we are headed towards a series of grave policy errors which will endanger our nation, damage our alliances, and empower our adversaries. 
you should probably call your senator to see if there's something they can do. I laugh at this, I think it's funny, but inside I'm crying at the absolute dysfunctional nature of the American government. Your man has $50, you have $200, y'all go out and the bill is $46.78. Who pays? The real question is, why am I dating a dude with only $50? Uh, because the guys with money all go for the hot ladies. Well, to be fair, she walked right into that one. Why is she asking a question like that? Hey, sexy. Hey, what's up? Happy Christmas. Do you have Snapchat? Yeah, but I don't use it ever. Damn, I wanted to send you a Christmas pic. Sorry, I don't accept gifts that small. I have said in the past, like in the Choosing Beggars videos, that I'm not a fan of gift minimums, but in this case, I'll allow it. I want to know times someone has masturbated thinking about me. 404. The page you're looking for can't be found. You didn't have to do him like that. I don't think anyone would like to do him. Really? Ooh. I love it when the follow-up to the follow-up is just as savage. You'll love to see it. I like money more than dick and that's a fact. Then why'd you get pregnant instead of getting rich? I'd like to believe that this is real because boy is that a real solid comeback, but what a weird thing to put on Facebook in the first place. Why would anyone question which of those two items you liked more, and why would anyone care? Reddit, what were the best comebacks you've ever heard? Secret Santa gift exchange in college. One guy gets a collection of British currency, he liked to collect foreign bills and coins, and a girl makes a rude comment about it being a stupid gift. Cue my mouth running off before my brain can stop it. Karen, don't be rude, he just didn't want you to be the only one who gained 20 pounds this semester. Pandemonium ensued as her boyfriend tried to pick a fight while she burst into tears, and it was not the best day for the club. It's a yikes from me. I might not believe this is real because it's it's his own comeback. It's a little bit self-glorifying, but at the same time, a fantastic roast, though. In the words of Andy Dwyer, I think the best comeback was uh, was Kim Kardashian, right? I think, uh, I think she had some in that video, right? Disabled parking should only be valid during business hours, 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. I cannot see any reason why people with genuine disabilities would be out beyond these times. We're disabled, Daniel. We're not werewolves. Despite the werewolf's comment, note that he said 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, business hours. That's like inferring that people who are disabled don't go anywhere on the weekends. Or after 5 o'clock. And that's just super weird. Disabled people clearly have needs outside of the 9 to 5 Monday to Friday business hours, if only the original commenter's brain could operate outside those times as well. What's your favorite pie? Cream. If we're talking dessert, I like banana. Ah, uh, beat me to it. That's fine. I know you prefer seconds. This is amazing because not only was there a double roast in here, it was by the same poster. What an absolute legend. I know that his name is blacked out, but I'm just going to have to assume that his username is the Legend 27 and his name will be told for generations to come. No pun intended. Thank you to everyone who watched this video. Be sure to subscribe for more daily Reddit content. Drop a like if you liked the video, and I will see you all tomorrow.